from Madeline Country Cottage. I'm back again with you today to show uh, two more of my journals. Um, but before I get on to these, I wanted to show a little haul, a uh, washi tape haul that is, um, that I had stumbled across on AliExpress. They are super cute and absolutely adorable. So I'm just going to pop these aside for a second and then show you all of the washies that I actually purchased. Now, yes, they're all doubled up. I bought two of each because I hate running out. But I just love the packaging. The packaging is just to die for. Um, they're, they're all uh, sort of got that um, botanical sort of uh, range um, about or feel about them. And I... You know, they're just absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. The insides of them, like the actual tape itself, is really super cute. And I, I just couldn't help myself. I had to buy uh, two of each, as I said, so I didn't have to run out on them. I mean, the, Eddie, they are thin. Um, the tape themselves are, are quite thin. Um, but I like that, you know, that would be great just to just to put down the side of the journal, um, just to add a little bit of um, a bit of colour to the page. But, you know, they're super cute. I love them. And I think they're really fabulous. Um, and, you know, the botanical ones. I mean, how, how cute is how cute is this? You know, I mean, I haven't actually taken any of these out of the boxes just yet. So let's let's pull one out. Um, you know, look at look at them. They're just really, really, really beautiful. And, you know, the fact that they come in this little box that you can open up and sort of pull the tape through and keep them all neat and tidy. So I just wanted to share, you know, my little little haul on my the little washi tapes that I purchased and before I get on to the journals so we'll just move those to the side and actually let's just push them off the side there we'll go into the journals okay so once again um we have the the dyed um rose petaled linen and we have a beautiful uh, botanical looking front here. We have, have the stitching all the way around the edges, the silk washi down the side. And, you know, I just love the, the botanical feel about this one. Um, going inside, um, we start off with the, the porter paint chips as per usual. Um, I've tried, as I've mentioned before, I've tried to marry them up to to the actual style of the journal themselves and I've, there's a little pocket here a bit of gathering of fabric a little pin and of course a little tag that I've made with um, with fabric a bit of stamping uh, image out of the magazine and you know it's got some muslin actually this muslin here I've dyed it with um, would you believe the skins of a garlic uh, of garlic yes uh, it's the one that's got a bit of um, purple to the actual skin itself so I just thought you know it just makes it that almost like a creamy color it's really really pretty and I thought thought that that was um, really nice um, to go with this particular tag so we move moving on uh, a beautiful image here of these uh, lovely botanical flowers. Um, once again, you can cover cover that with your images or, you know, um, some photos of your home. You can sort of pop them in here. You know, it's great to have this as a little bit of a background. But again, with the flip, the little tuck, um, the beautiful rose image paper here of a tab we have a little tip in here a botanical tip in out of that magazine and some beautiful fabric just down the side here on tea paper lovely paper from that typo manual journal journal no <laughs> 
um, from the typo manual. Um, we have another pocket here with some vintage lace and of course another little tag with a bit of stamping, some stitching, again some of that muslin, beautiful image. Um, we have a little, little French stamp here um, that I've actually got it in a box set. Uh, let me see if I can reach it. Um, yeah. Here, we, here it is. Okay, so it's out of this box set here. Um, it's that little, no, that, not that stamp, that one, sorry. Yeah, that little stamp here. So we have a little rose ephemera. Another French little ephemera here. Some grid paper. Beautiful paper. Now, um, that designer paper, I think it's from Maggie Holmes. Is that how you pronounce it? Let me just quickly run and check. Everything's in such a mess. So, but I'm pretty sure that this one's out of the the Maggie Holmes. I think it's Maggie Holmes. Um, maybe it's a different surname. I don't know. Anyway, it's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. I thought it was perfect for this journal. We have so another lovely image. Some music paper. Some ledger paper. A little pocket with some washi and some type, type text out of the type of text uh, book and we have here it's on the this is actually on the back of a music um, book um, it's a vintage one I think it's about the 1930s 40s something like that and I've just printed off I love the text on the back and then of course I've just tea dyed that Again, one of those half pockets uh, made out of, from a, uh, an envelope, just to pop in some images in here, some ephemera, little pocket, little pad here, another image, and the pocket here which is the other side, I didn't talk about it back there, but it's, it's just got some layering, some vintage lace, vintage fabric here with these tiny dainty little flowers, um, some ephemera pieces, and of course the flip out. Now I've never actually pulled this off to show you that it actually does flip right out. Um, just got a little bit of a, a silk ribbon on the end there. Um, oh. The image has popped off. Okay, and then of course that type text pad, uh, manual with a tea bag tab, some beautiful botanical fabric, and of course avocado dyed um, muslin and vintage uh, vintage uh, fabric here. On tea dyed paper, the ephemera, the rusty clip. Little tab again, that image again, and there's some more of that beautiful, beautiful fabric with some lace and muslin layering. How gorgeous is this fabric? It's just really beautiful. I love it. I'd love that actually. I wouldn't mind a skirt made out of that. It's really pretty. And um, of course the tag and the logo here. So that that's that one. Um, I can't exactly call it tarts. Um, <laughs> I might actually mix it as in sun and birds. I might call this one as sun and birds. So I'll put that one aside. Okay, once again, a beautiful front of a vintage green perfume bottles. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Love it. Uh, the stitching all the way around, the washi tape. Inside we have another beautiful little tag that I have done some layering. I've actually, this fabric under here is one of the ones that I designed and I've just cut a piece off and added that in because I wanted a bit of black. 
bit of stamping and if this this here is um, a, a packaged twine and all I've done is um, naturally dyed that with leaves so it's to give it that really old grungy sort of look about it that it's been around for quite a while and I've missed a little clip on this one a little clip uh, clip, uh, not a clip, a, a, um, a little, what do you call these? Safety pins, yes. So we'll just pop that in there on there. Okay, beautiful little vintage image of a, a mirror. Again, the perfume bottles. You can just pop something in here to cover it over and, you know, so you've still got that lovely image again with the little tucks They've printed off a music book tab lovely image um, on here and I've just um I originally we had planned to put these colors I sort of gather a few things and I pop these colors and that's what I was planning to use throughout the book but I just I changed my mind and went with the green and I just thought I would leave that tucked in on there because the colors sort of still represent some of the images in 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 the journal although you've probably noticed it's sort of almost like on the bathroom sort of come dressing table sort of look and feel of this journal some more of that paper uh, fabric tongue-tied today or what Okay, let's begin again. Some more of that botanical uh, fabric on the side here with the tea dyed paper and the typo manual. Again, uh, I love the look of this. I didn't use an image out of the book this time. I, I just loved the botanical feel of the, the fabric that I was using. So I just thought I'd leave that quite plain and just sort of add some layering on top and you know some lovely stitching and so forth tucked in with some vintage lace a beautiful little postcard here a swing tank some vintage fabric uh, layering on this little fabric pocket some ephemera again on that beautiful designer paper and more it's just a little tip in from that uh, magazine i made this into a like a little pocket so you can just sort of pop some things inside there the journal uh, the ledger paper and of course the the fabric swatches fabric swatches again with the tongue tied and not looking what i'm doing porter paint paint swatches <laughs> Again, a beautiful little image. <laughs> okay, so um, that's that out of that um, the garden book, the vintage garden book. And here I've just added a little vintage swap card. It's a little pocket here for the center of the page. You can pop whatever you like in there. Again, with the garden book and some ephemera a beautiful image of the, out of that magazine ledger the image okay the other side of that pocket with some more ephemera in there the, the flip out page with the scripted writing and this little clip here i've used the petals of um a flower and the, it's a vintage millinery flower um it's got a velvet touch to it it's really pretty perfect green yeah. image fabric tip in the rusty paper clip and another little tip in here and of course another one here with some layering little place to journal I haven't been sticking them down just thought that you might like some of the images at the back there a little tag and of course the logo 
so they will be added to the website um, in the coming days actually I might be able to get them up before I released this video so I hope that uh, you've in enjoyed the flip through of these two new journals and I just want to uh, a little reminder just to let you know about the journal giveaway on the video that was uploaded uh, before this one so if you would love to win a journal there uh, I've got one as a giveaway on as I mentioned on the previous video all you have to do is subscribe uh, to to win and the all the details of that is in um, in that in that particular video and so Hope you all have a fabulous day and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay then, bye for now.